What is going on everyone? Vlad Killjoy back again with another video. Sorry it's been a minute since I've uploaded. I actually went on vacation. I needed a couple of days off so I figured summer's almost over. Why not go and do something before it's too late, you know? So I apologize for that but today's video is going to be all about how to get out of contenders league which is probably one of the hardest leagues to get out of and you've just made it out of opens league so without further ado let's get right into it i want to drop out a poi to show y'all what y'all need to be looking out for when it comes to landing at a poi and if you're lucky y'all may get a like kind of low-key drop spot too just in case of you would rather play a little bit more safe and land somewhere that's not going to be populated but for those that like to take risks we're going to go to steamy stacks so that way i can show y'all some tips and tricks on how to drop at pois all right so when you're gliding in to the the poi that you want to go to you want to look around to see if anyone's coming with you unfortunately in this match there's no one coming with us now, had there been someone coming with us, you would look to see where they were going to land so that way you know exactly where they're going to be at in the POI when you start like looting up and trying to find more loot and possibly pushing them. But unfortunately, no one landed here, so I can't showcase that, but look out for people, you know, see, see where they land. If you get a good loadout, like right at the start, you can push them and get an easy elimination on them or if you're uncontested like we were you get this whole poi to loot up for yourself so go ahead get kitted out get your mats up all that good stuff don't stress it so hard you know just play for placement yeah you get a lot of a lot of points for kills but you also get a lot of points for placement too and if you're not the best fighter in the world then placement is the way that you need to do it or if you're just trying to get out of contenders league you know play placement hide in a bush do something you know do what i'm gonna teach you here in this video today <laughs> all right so we're gonna want to rotate on dead side which is going to be right up here and the reason this is dead side is because there's going to be absolutely nobody ro rotating in on this side however if you were to go down here or something you've got retail lazy caddy misty slurpee all pushing in to this area you know so there's going to be a lot of people down on this side of the zone so if you go up here there's not going to be that many people and if you do decide to take a fight you won't be third partied as easily because there's not going to be a lot of people on this side of the the zone so we are actually going to rotate up to this outpost and then over to craggy so we're gonna go ahead and rotate you can hold on to your shields that you get from steamy if you make sure that like no one's landing over here in this area so like spire tower orchard outpost because there's this slurp truck right here that you can use to get max shield and you can just save your shields for you know a fight or in game or whatever the case may be if you take some unnecessary damage you can pop your shields. My shotgun didn't fire the second time. That was uh, a little unfortunate there, but if anybody's got you like walled off like that, don't just stand in the same spot. It makes it so easy to like shoot you once the wall breaks. All right, give me that IO car. We're going to go ahead and rotate over to Craggy. Also, in Contenders League, you want to make sure that you have a designated drop spot. You need a place where you know the ins and outs of it, like the back of your hand. So that way you're, you're able to fight better there, you're able to loot quicker, and you're able to get out a lot quicker as well. All right, we got about, you know, 12 seconds before zone shows its next location. It'll probably pull towards like pleasant area if I had to take a guess. Um, so we we probably don't have to go too far from where we're at now. Second zone has showed itself. And this side right here 
this is going to be dead side. So you want to rotate from wherever you're at to that side. So I'll probably go like by Pleasant and try to get on the back side here because not that many people are going to be rotating in from here. This side, however, is going to have Pleasant, Corny, me, Craggy, um, this outpost, whatever the case may be. So we're going to go ahead and try to get as close to over here as we can. You see, we've only seen one person this entire game and there's only 16 people remaining. So you should be able to rack up a lot of placement in Contenders League and that'll really help to get out of Contenders League. The longer you survive, the more points you get. Now, does taking fights help? Absolutely, but you know, not everybody is in an amazing fighter, you know, myself included. I suck at fighting. <laughs> However, rotations, that's what I'm good at. Also, if y'all haven't started using the aliens yet, use them. You can take at least one shot to the head. Like I said, I'm going to try not to fight that much if I don't have to. Just so that way I can show y'all how to play placement correctly. And also what to do if you have moving zones, if we end up getting a moving zone, which we probably won't since there's only eight people alive. Let's see if I can get closer to this guy. He got the supply drop and I kind of want to know what was in it. Hey, calm down. Easy peasy. While I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and explain. Okay, so right over here now is dead side of zone. You always want to go where the zone is pretty much on your back. That is going to be dead side. So I'm gonna take this bridge right here. So you see I'm positioned pretty well. I'm on the highest point besides that right over there, which I don't I don't think that's in zone. Um, but the highest part in zone on dead side, that's where you want to be because literally everyone else in the lobby is over there fighting and they have to come to me. If I pull zone even better, three people remaining, two other people, two enemies. There we go. Ooh. He had the legendary pump too. Where's this guy at? Where did he go? I really launched right by him. And that's how you win Contenders League games. Just do that over and over again, and you'll be out of Contenders League and in Champions to be able to compete in tournaments to further make you a better player. It's that easy. Dead side rotates, position on, you know, front side of zone, and hit your shots. Also, make sure if, if you've got anyone landing with you at a POI, make sure that, uh, you watch for where they're going to land and you you should be able to win more games this way i hope you enjoyed if you did leave a comment down below and hit that like button if you didn't like the video hit the dislike button doesn't matter to me really but i appreciate any kind of support that y'all give me if that's hitting the like button hitting the dislike whatever the case may be if you're new hit that subscribe button and i'll see you in the next video bye